forecast. We've got Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum joining us. What can we expect for this first part of the week? It's kind of like unseasonably warm <laughs> out there. <laughs> it is. It's nice and warm out there. A little bit humid too, but we're looking at some quiet weather. A lot different than this day back in 2011 at the forgotten outbreak of tornadoes out there because a few weeks later was April 27th and that's a significant outbreak. 45 tornadoes this day. Most of them uh, just south of the Birmingham area here. Unfortunately, seven lives were lost, 14 injured. But of course, this is just comparison in shadow comparison to the April 27th one. Uh, where we, of course, had many more tornadoes, 62 total in the state of Alabama, and many, many more lives were lost. Fortunately, things are much quieter and calmer out there. The warmer temperatures are still here. Live look downtown looking pretty good here from our BJCC camera. 68 degrees, calm winds, pretty comfortable there with a dew point of 55 degrees. 66 Tuscaloosa to Fayette there over toward the Hamilton area with 61. Talladega now and Alex City are cool spots along with the Jasper area. And tonight's low is dropping about 55 to 60 degrees across central Alabama. Not too shabby out there. Things are looking still pretty comfortable for us here, but we're going to see some changes though coming in. You can see some clouds already building in here from the west and active weather here already well off to the west across the plain states. Severe weather tornado watches breaking out here. Severe thunderstorm tornado warnings out there as well too. And that's where the most significant weather is going to be here for today as well as tomorrow. You can see that severe threat out there, a level three enhanced risk. But notice it stays north of us today. Also for tomorrow, we're not looking at anything coming through here, which is good because we have a ridge of high pressure in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. We look at water vapor moisture to show this big low spinning over Denver ridge here over the western part of the Gulf. That's going to allow that system to stay to the north and keep that severe weather away from us, which of course is great news, especially here this time of year when we get those systems coming in. A lot of times we have to keep a close eye on them. But for tomorrow, we're looking at a lot of cloud cover going to be a little breezy as well too. temperature starting off around 60, but warming to the lower 80s by the afternoon. So not too shabby for us, but 80 to 85 degrees across central Alabama, Tuscaloosa, Talladega area through Birmingham and Asheville around 83 same view over into Jasper when we should be about 75 this time of year. Now, chance rain is going to increase Wednesday. That same front I showed you with the tail end of it sneaks through here, giving us a little rain, but again, no severe weather. And it looks like wet weather continues as we head into the weekend as well, too. So future cast here overnight will show maybe a sprinkle trying to sneak in, possibly tomorrow morning with a lot of clouds and a little patchy fog in places, too. Could see a stray shower tomorrow. Most of us will be dry, breezy, and warm out there. And as we head into Tuesday night into Wednesday, we'll start seeing a few more showers popping up across the area. They'll continue through the morning hours and into the afternoon. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder developing again, not severe, but could produce some downpours and some gusty winds. Now looking late into the week, of course, we have Talladega weekend, right? There will be some spotty showers and storms on Saturday, about 78 degrees. Cooler weather returns Sunday. We'll have some scattered storms, unfortunately, so hopefully nothing too significant. We have a couple days to watch that and fine tune the forecast. We're keeping an eye out there for the weekend, though, and you can see we go from 86 on Thursday to 68 Sunday and 40 on Monday morning. Let's look at your storm team seven day forecast.